we're developing our websites, we use localhost to test them. So we go into Google Chrome or a browser and we type localhost to get to it. Localhost is a special domain name. It only exists on this computer, on the computer that you're using. So if we want to test it on our mobile device, if we were to type localhost on our device, nothing would happen. Localhost actually doesn't exist on our device because it's not set up as a web server. So if we want to view our websites that we're making on our mobile device, we have to use a special service to help us out. The service is called zip.io and it allows us to connect to any web server on our local network, assuming that we know the web server's IP address. So let's first go and find out what the IP address is for our computer. So I'm going to go up to System Preferences here, and I'm going to go to Network, which is right here. Once we're in the Network panel, you can see right here is our IP address. So mine is 192.168.1.58. So this is our local IP address, the IP address of our computer on the local network. That's what we're going to need to make zip work. So I'm going to go back to my browser here, and what I'm going to type is my IP address, so 192.168.1.58.zip.io, like that. So if I hit enter, now I will be able to see my local host, so I can just navigate back to the website that I was looking at here. So this will work for any device on the same network, on the same Wi-Fi network. So on my mobile device here, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change to the new address, 192.168.1.58. .io. Go. There we go. So now we can test our website on our mobile devices using zip.io and our IP address. Also remember, this applies to Adobe Shadow. So if you're using Adobe Shadow, you'll have to use your zip address, your IP address plus the zip.io address, to access Adobe Shadow on your mobile device.